Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of True Make Sun. We are back once again with another episode for you beautiful people on the internet. <clears throat> I am Will, you're Steven. And uh, let's go ahead and get this episode. I just want to point something out with the intro that seems kind of interesting to me. Whenever you would, like, introduce both of us, you're like, I am Will, you are Steven. Like, you're addressing the viewers. You're telling the audience that they are Steven. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You watching? I don't care what your name is. You're you're now Steven. <laughs> be Steven, and you're Steven. There can only be one yes. Will. There can only be one Will. <laughs> there's like eight Stevens. <laughs> wow. Wow. You see, guys, I'm right. not unique. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> So, Steven. All right. Uh, first of all, um, before we actually start on the um, the real topics on this episode, I just want to say something. So, <laughs> Steven wanted to okay. say something. How hilarious! <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know how to play sound effects, so expect me to play them a lot during this episode and probably this episode specifically. He's going to completely yeah. overuse them. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, go ahead. Anyway, so what I wanted to say was, um, so I have I have talked on the podcast in previous episodes about my hate for, or at least my dislike for Apple, you know, the technology company maker of the iPhone, you know, everybody knows who they are. So I've, I've, talked, about, I've talked about, like, reasons why I hate them before. Um, I was actually doing some work earlier today, trying to, uh, get the podcast on more platforms through Anchor. And in doing so, uh, I had, a, I didn't have the podcast on Apple podcast, even though that's a platform that Anchor supports. Um, I was actually going, cause you have to have an Apple ID in order to do that. And I didn't have an Apple ID and I didn't want to make an Apple ID because I don't like Apple. But I said, I was saying to myself, I was like, you know what? A lot of people probably use Apple Podcasts in the interest of expanding our podcast and getting it out to more people. I will make an Apple ID to put the podcast on Apple Podcasts. I was actually going to do it reluctantly. That was when I discovered probably the thing that has made me the absolute maddest about Apple. And that is... Uh. Um, uh, and if you have an Apple ID, you probably know this, but I found out today that in order to have an active Apple ID, to like have it activated so that you can actually do stuff with it, such as, for example, uh, put your podcast on Apple Podcasts, you have to put your credit card information into your Apple ID. It is a mandatory requirement, and you cannot use your Apple ID for anything until you literally give them your payment information. And if that is not the stupidest requirement for a membership for an online service, I don't know what is. Well, to be fair, it's not like they're going to just start charging you out of nowhere. I know. Like, I know. And I don't think that they I agree, will. But... I agree. I agree that it shouldn't be required. But at the same time, it's just like, it's yeah. there just in case you want to buy anything from like the app. Store. And I, like, I, I understand wanting to buy stuff with I will, it. And I, I will say I do agree. I will say I do agree that it is kind of stupid how it's a requirement. I mean, yeah, I don't know. That's like, well, I I found that out today, and um, so the the podcast is in fact not on Apple Podcasts right now because of that. Um, so yeah, sorry. I mean, I got I got Apple, Apple ID, so I mean, if I if I have to upload it, then I will. Yeah, I could just use Will's Apple ID. Just steal his information. <laughs> yeah, I I completely trust Steven with all my bank account information. <laughs> I, <laughs> Technically, I only need to log in, like, once in order to actually, like, get it set up. And then, um... And then just, like, once it's on there, once I get the, the podcast feed, like, into the platform, it just automatically updates all the episodes and everything. All right. So, 
if we really want to reach all of the uh all of the Apple users out there, which I really don't, but do I really have a choice? <laughs> Look, you gotta do things that you may not like in order to uh, get business booming, okay? I don't know what else to say. I mean... That's fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't... I may not like it, but that's fair. It, it's show business at the end of the day. Or it's not even having to do with the show. It has more to do with the business, but still. Yeah. Well, it's like being able to expand our podcast to uh, more platforms and stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that and, was just my yeah, rant. Quick question, yeah. quick question. Are you able to see, like, are you able to see through Anchor how many viewers or how many views our podcast yeah. gets? Well, I'm able, I'm able to see, like, how many people have watched the podcast through Anchor, which, let me actually go see what that number is right now. <clears throat> Turning this into a I'm business interest- meeting again. <laughs> I'm interested to see if there is actually, like, someone... Because I remember I was driving home it was like an hour drive, and I listened to the entire an entire episode on Spotify. The episode that you so made. You, so yeah, so over you, across all of our episodes, and I have all twelve of our previous episodes uh, up. It says that uh, we have gotten seven like listens, like seven. They call them plays. Basically, uh, our podcast has been played seven times for its entire lifetime. And it says we have one viewer. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's better than zero. I, I'll say that. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people aren't going to, like, just find it. Uh, like, just with well, it being yeah. out there. We're going to have to actually, like, advertise and stuff in order to yeah. get people to actually be able to see it. We yeah. should advertise <clears throat> it on a YouTube short. Since we saw how well that worked. Oh yeah, I mentioned in the last episode that I was going to have YouTube shorts out, and I don't have them out. How how yeah, bad because, are they because because Will I happens right to be because Will happens to be what we call a failure. I think the more accurate term you're looking for is procrastinator. Uh yes, indeed. Because I remember pulling up Premiere, le- like pulling up a video, learning how to use it. And then in the middle of it, I got distracted by other things. And to be fair, I, I'm also Classic. in college. I'm also in college, so I mean, it's not like I do nothing in between episodes. Like, matter, Are you fact, sure about that? Uh, matter of fact, we're going to get into that right now as our first topic. We almost couldn't record today because I have, because <laughs> I got college homework and like, oh, that's just. Catching up to me and all that. <clears throat> and that's a lot that I could say. College. And that's a lot I can say and rant about, but I want to save all that for another day. However, there is one thing that has just really gotten me angry. Kind of like how you got angry about the fact that uh, you had to put in a credit card information for Apple ID. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so, the main thing at college that gets me incredibly peeved is when college students, they, they a lot of them, they just don't care. And particularly, yeah, it comes in the that, form of, like... As someone who is, like, planning to go into college and is, like, starting to interact with people who go to college... I can see that theme in, like, people's personalities. But, yeah, no, what I'm specifically talking about is it's not all college students, obviously, but there's a, there's definitely people who are the slowest walkers. And every time I walk in the sidewalk, in the hallway, or wherever, <laughs> and there's, like, a lot of people around, there are always these slow people who are just so slow. And... I, I'm walking behind them, and I'm trying to walk fast, trying to get to where I need to go. And this person, like, these people just be, like, in front of me, and I try to, like, get around them, but they're always going the same direction that I'm going, which is coincidental. 
<laughs> and then... I mean, well, if you're stuck behind someone, just don't be stuck behind someone. It's not that hard. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> thank but you, now, thank you. I'm here all week. Hey, this is a uh, thing that happens typically when I'm in the cafeteria at college, and I'm trying to like put my dishes up, or I'm trying to get food or whatever, and this is someone in front of me who's moving so slowly, and it's impossible for me to get around because there's other people around as well, and it's just like, and there's even times where I'm behind like friend groups who are just walking super slowly, and then they'll just stop, they'll just stop walking altogether, and like stand in front of like important places that I need to be like. There was this one time where I was trying to put my dishes up, and there's a conveyor belt in this very narrow hallway uh, where you put your dirty dishes on. And they would just stand right in front of there, even when other people are trying to get there to put the dirty dishes up. Sounds like something that someone would do. <laughs> so, 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 by not, just... so by not caring, you're talking about like not having a, a regard for people around them, essentially. Yeah, and it happens so often, and it gets me so peeved, like, every time it happens. And usually when it happens, it's always, like, it's, like, consecutively, one after another, I just keep running into people like that, who are just, like, slow. Because they're, just like, because they're everywhere. There's just it's not, one it's day. like, impossible to avoid them. No, no, here's what I'm saying, though. Uh, it's, like, for... Majority of days, it's fine, but then there'll just be a day that comes around every once in a while where you just encounter one after another people who is just, like, so slow and you try and get around or, like, walk <laughs> slowly behind them to match the speed as to not run into them. Yeah. Because that's for me. I'm a big guy. Like, if I were to try to, like, push past them, I would, I would be able to, like, push them on the ground without even trying. And, like, that would obviously just make the whole thing even worse, and I would have the new problem to deal with. Which... Called the authorities. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the FBI is already after you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, um, I wasn't originally going to talk about this because I kind of forgot about this, but there's this uh, court case that's happening right now. Uh, I think it's called Gonzalez versus Google. And if this person wins against Google, uh, there's going to be a lot more restrictions on YouTube, and authorities could start taking what people say in YouTube videos as literally. So we're really going to have to emphasize that all the jokes we make about FBI on us and having cases and committing crimes, all of that is a joke. <laughs> that like, seems we are dumb. not. We are not being serious when we say that. Yeah, it's a real it's a real thing that's happening right now that could potentially happen. Yeah. I th I always like I've always been annoyed at the fact that like people can't take a joke online. Like we've gotten to the point where like It's not even it's like taking jokes anymore. It's about taking things yeah. literally. Yeah, there's so it's much not regulation. There's so much regulation uh nowadays on social media. That's a whole can of worms that I'm not prepared to open, but I just wanted to point that yeah. out because you That's said a, about us. It's not, it's not necessarily political for, per se, but like it's it's like a controversial topic. So Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, back to college. Uh and and one other thing that happens in this kind of lane that drives me insane is <clears throat> wherever I arrive to my uh, dorm hall, and I'm in the parking lot trying to find parking, there's always people who are, like, pedestrians and, like, walking across the road, and they walk uh, yes, so slowly. If, yes, because if they were, if they, uh, because... Okay. <laughs> I was trying to make a joke. I was trying to make a joke, and I failed miserably. And... They walk so slowly, and even when they notice you, they don't pick up the speed. In fact, there was even this one case where someone's walking, like, on the road, like, like facing this way, and I'm, like, trying to drive, and I try to drive out, and 
I'm right in front of them, and they just kind of, they just kind of turn around and go. How you doing? Just, <laughs> just stand there. And I'm like, move, move. I'm trying to not run over you. Just move. <laughs> just like, shove them no. out of the way. No, I'm driving. If I were to do that, I'd run them over. So I definitely get the cops called on me. <laughs> Ah, what's this? What's so wrong with that? Also, YouTube, because of, you know, problems with taking things literally and stuff, that is a joke. (laughs) Obviously, you should not attempt to uh, run over pedestrians. (laughs) All right. And another thing that happens in the parking lot is we have, like, different sections of the parking lot since it's a big dorm hall that houses a lot of people. That obviously means you need a bunch of parking spots, right? Right. So it's kind of divided into a few different sections. And there's a section of parking spaces that are right in front of the dorm hall. And then there's, like, a river, like a tiny river in the middle so your dorm well, hall is middle, literally like... a Riverside. Powered by Riverside FM. Yes. <laughs> like I said, I might be using these sound effects for this episode. And maybe in other episodes when it's le- least expected. <laughs> by least expected, I mean in the first few minutes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. But basically, basically, uh, you have the dorm hall right here. You have this first batch of parking spots, and then you have a tiny little river right here. And then past this river, you have another set of parking spaces that are like a couple minutes of walking away from the dorm hall, depending on how fast or slow you walk. If you're one of those slow walkers that Will is talking about, then... (laughs) If If you're a slow walker like Will, then yeah. Well, okay, I'm not even a slow walker, I just don't like to walk. But with that said, I do do it just to stay active. But when I walk, I do walk fast, like, not fast, but I have long legs, so naturally I just walk faster than other people. Because I got longer legs, and it's just like... Know what I mean? Yeah, I get what you mean. I get that point. You're investing in your game right now, but <laughs> I'm 24 in the spot. I'm so not. I'm left. <clears throat> so obviously, a lot of people want to get the parking spaces like near the dorm hall. They they yeah. do less walk, so they, so they don't have to walk. Obviously, so and it's often full, but it is possible to get parking spaces every once in a while if you get lucky. However, some people will. If they see someone who has their, like, headlights on and they look like they're about to leave, they'll pull up and they'll just wait right there and wait oh, for I've them seen to pull those out. people. Like, not even in dorm parking lots, just, like, in regular public parking spaces. I have seen those people. <laughs> yeah. And it's so annoying, because it's like... Oh, how desperate are you? Like, how do you know they're even about to leave? <laughs> Like, that's the thing. And you're just holding up other people who are trying to get by as well. And the reason why I bring that up is because as I was walking to my dorm hall, thinking about the other topic, this is today too, I was walking back because I had to park in the further parking lot. I was walking back thinking about talking about the topic of slow walkers. And I saw two cars one coming this way and one coming this way. They both stopped because there was one car right there that was trying to back out and they just kind of stopped there. <laughs> and, and and the person who was about to back up, it took like a few seconds, they just pulled back into the parking spot. Like, it's like, I don't want to deal with this right now. I'm going back in. And <laughs> I, I put... When I saw that, I busted out laughing because it was like the funniest, less saddest sight of just the car trying to pull out and then two cars like hovering over them and just going back in, just cowering. 
<laughs> I don't know why. That's just the image that popped in my head. It's funny. It's... But yeah. But yeah, it's stuff like that. I Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> That's it about college students. They need to walk faster. And this goes for everyone else, too. This happens in public. The whole world just needs to move faster. (laughs) Yeah. All right. This is completely random. (laughs) Yeah, completely random. I'm just going to do it every time we uh, reach a state of silence. All right. <clears throat> All right, so Steven. Yes. So I'm aware that you know what commercials are, right? I want you to consider the fact that you just asked that question. Like, I want you to take well, a minute. Well, I have to, because sometimes <laughs> you forget you don't know the most obvious stuff. Like, you don't, you don't even remember what Valentine's went. Day when I, I knew what I it don't was. Even I just didn't speak. remember that it was that day. <laughs> February fourteenth. That's like the most iconic date for like a holiday, or at least one of the most iconic. And you didn't even remember that. So I have to ask obvious stuff now, just to make sure. So like, I'm really considering asking you if you remember how it breathed. <laughs> no, I have no <laughs> idea how to do that. <laughs> All right. All right. So, as I have gone through college as a film major and learning how to like film stuff, I've begun to look at commercials and I've also just been watching a lot more TV lately. And one of the things that I've always noticed with certain commercials is when they have literally nothing to do when they with the product that they're selling or the service that they're yes. selling. I've seen those as well. Where it's like completely random stuff and then it's advertising something completely different. And one set of commercials that I feel are, are particularly infamous at this are commercials for tax services, like people, yes. that, companies that do taxes for you. They have all the that a, that's, a, have... that's a whole other thing. Like, why do you need someone to do taxes for you? Just do your own taxes. Well, I will say, with taxes, and that's what my economics teacher told me, if you pay someone to do taxes, they can actually earn you more money. Because they know a lot more. Okay, fair, that's but stuff. like... So it's just... That's just what my economics teacher said. But yeah. That's, <clears throat> not, not, that, what, not, that do... that's not what my economics teacher said. <laughs> not that I do taxes, obviously. <laughs> just a joke. Will d- Disclaimer, Will does not commit tax evasion. <laughs> I commit tax fraud. There's a difference. <laughs> Again, that's a joke. For legal reasons, <laughs> that is a joke. <laughs> Uh, how we have to say that every single time. I There was probably a time when you could just say basically whatever you wanted and not have to think about it at all. Murder should be legal! <laughs> <laughs> People are listening in. They're, they're like... Somebody just... Oh, somebody's please. gonna... Somebody's gonna open like open up the episode and just like decide to go to a random by, time by the time, stand, by the time the just episode is be that over long. Right before the episode is over, I hear a knock on my door It's just like where the police we heard what you said <laughs> And it's like, Well guys, I'm going to jail. See ya <laughs> <clears throat> But yeah. Tax commercials are particularly infamous for having commercials that are literally nothing to do with the service itself. So you end up forgetting or not they even knowing even that. Tax commercial. I think a TurboTax, the one that says you can do it for free or whatever, 
Something yeah, happened well, in there it's, it's for free something. if you like qualify for something or something like that. And they they always have commercials where people are just like free, 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 expecting the people to watch the commercials to understand immediately what that even means. Like, yeah, obviously it's not gonna work like that. I I won't know because I I don't have I don't do research. I don't know <laughs> exactly. Yes, but well, I can tell this be... Will, a full college student, does not do research, like, at all. He's actually allergic to it. Funny thing about that, after I filmed this episode, I gotta work on a research project. <laughs> Which, I'm just so excited about. Can't you tell by the look of my face? Yeah. The wrong one. I ru- I ruined something that was already ruined by me in the first twenty six minutes. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> but yeah, this has me thinking, what other commercials, what other products could we advertise and we advertise it by having the whole commercial have literally nothing to do with the product. Like for example, we were talking about <laughs> we were talking about advertising our podcast show. We should have like a Spotify ad where we we, we talk about awesome. literally anything except for the podcast. Yeah, we don't even mention it until the uh, late until the last second. It was like streams who make a certain podcast now. Like, <laughs> what do we fill? What do we fill the rest of that thirty second ad with? Just us saying random things. <laughs> <clears throat> like, let's go to a random Wikipedia or like Wikipedia page, and then we're just gonna yeah. read that. It's like stream to who make a certain podcast now. <laughs> that is the way to turn people off of your podcast, like immediately. <laughs> I'm gonna type in uh, French fries. Ah, uh, yes, everyone's favorite. I'm going to scroll down to a random paragraph be like, <clears throat> French fries migrated to the German-speaking countries during the 19th century. In Germany, they are usually known by the French words pommes frites, or only pommes or fritten, derived from the French words but pronounced as German words. Often served with ketchup or mayonnaise, they are popular. Mayonnaise, as a hold on, restaurant. hold on, stop right there. I have a problem with that. Mayonnaise with French fries. I have a problem with that. Same German because on the podcast now. <laughs> the, ad just gets in, the ad just gets interrupted by you, and then yes. at the end, they just come in with like, stream our podcast now. <laughs> I hear Steven raging about the most pointless things. As well as me raging that you've never watched Scooby-Doo. Yes. I've been telling people at work about, like, the mental breakdown that you had. How they react. How they react. Oh, they were just, they just kind of find it funny and laugh at it. And stuff like that. You know, as people do. <clears throat> Alright. But as if we were to make like a commercial that aired on TV to advertise our podcast, what would what would we fill the visuals with? Like what would what would we, just, what would no, we do? You should you should go back to the Who channel, like the kind of edits that you made for the Who channel and just spam those. <laughs> Spam those. We're going to get copyrighted. <laughs> I hope you'll find this entertaining. Just like all the classic quotes. Uh, all the classic yes. quotes. We're just going to jumble them yes. together. And then I'm going to come in at the end and be like, stream the podcast today. Stream to make concern podcast. We, we it's need a tagline totally worth with, it, we swear. We need a tagline to go with the title of the podcast as well. Like, To Whom It May Concern. I feel like To Whom It May Concern is like a tagline itself. No, no, I got it. To Whom It May Concern. Commit tax fraud. (laughs) 
<laughs> We're gonna have a commercial telling people to go commit crimes. <laughs> that's that's gonna be the top of our episode today. Will and Steven commit crimes. Or no 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 even better. We're gonna be like top ten reasons why you should commit crimes today. I feel like that would actually get our video flagged. Or <laughs> take it down. But yeah. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> It's not like we were making any money anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, uh, Steven. That's the thing. Wait, hold on. Quick question. Yes. What happened to the uh, Nerf gun you had earlier? I don't see it anymore. What happened to it? It's behind me. You can't see it because of the... Um, I'm blocking it. Okay. I thought I saw something back there. Yeah, no, it's like, still there. Like if you, no, no, if you look at it, it's in a different position than when it was 30 seconds ago. Not 30 seconds, 30 minutes. Like I I leaned it up right there. Okay, I thought you leaned it up against something else. No, <laughs> I leaned I always I leaned it up against like the corner of the dresser there. Okay. All right, that was pointless. <laughs> For those <laughs> watching, y'all have no idea what I'm even talking about. The way it should be. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so what I was actually going to say before I got sidetracked by something completely random. <clears throat> Steven. What? Are you aware of Leap Day? Like, okay. The fact that I have to ask what it is means probably no. Okay. So basically, you know how uh, February 29th, it only happens a few years oh, and then... leap year? We don't mean? have... Leap year. February 29th is considered leap day. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. I know what a leap year is, but I didn't know that uh, February 29th was leap day. <clears throat> Yeah, the uh, reason why I ask is next week, February 28th, is going to be my sister's birthday. And that had me thinking, why not people who are born on February 29th? On, on certain years, they're not going to be able to celebrate their birthday because their birthday will not exist during those years. I mean, I figure, like, the women of the world probably just collectively come together and say, yeah, we're not going to have any kids on February 29th. Ever. Well, you obviously don't know how uh, having kids work because it's not like you decide and have the kid at the exact same day. It's a nine month progress. I hope you realize that. I know. Some I know have, that. Some, but like... some people have no choice but to be born on February 29th because that's just how it was when they were born. But during some years, they're not going to have that. So, what do they do? They just like, I know they probably... were born on February 28th. <laughs> I know they probably celebrated the day before or after, but I just love to imagine, like, some years they, they're not considered as older because they didn't have their birthday at all. So, for a few years, I mean, they, they still go technically about, didn't get considered older, but... But they're not documented as getting older because their birthday never happened. Imagine if that happened. I don't know. I just found that thought really funny. Just like, you see a grown man, you go to him, it's like, how old are you? He's like, five. <laughs> five. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so, I didn't really know what else to say about that, um, except, I don't know, I just found it, <laughs> he didn't know what to say about that except <laughs> powered by Riverside FM 
a reminder to everyone watching and listening that we use Riverside to record this. Shout out to Riverside. We would love a sponsor if you would do that. <laughs> Our thoughts exactly to what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> 35 minutes in. And uh, Steven, I know you told me to have topics, but we're already on the last one. Uh, we just gotta make it, we just gotta make it the rest of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, Steven. <clears throat> yes. I'm currently working on a student project where one of my seniors is filming a, a short film. And while on set, uh, we were t- talking about stuff, like the whole crew was, and I had thought. <laughs> Oh, is boy. it possible? <laughs> is it possible to shoot ten guns at once? I mean, like yes. if all you need is one. If all you need is one finger to pull the trigger, then what if you had guns taped to each of your fingers? Where I mean, your finger yeah, there's nothing. Like, there's nothing the mechanically. Trigger. There's nothing mechanically stopping you from doing that. <laughs> I, I love to imagine, like. uh I'm gonna create my new uh new show called Gun Gun Hands where each gun hands. each gun fingers, that's what it's gonna be called. Each finger has like an AK, a uh like a bazooka on one, and it's just gonna be like wait, hold on, let me just shake your hand real quick. Oh, sorry, I accidentally shot you. <laughs> <clears throat> But yeah, I just thought, like, and what if, go even further, what if, if you need to uh, pull the trigger with one finger, right, there's a lot of wiggle room for that one finger, so you can technically fit two guns if you just put your finger through that, as you're two guns yeah. with, with one finger. If you want so, to. <laughs> So what if you could shoot 20 guns at once, put two guns on each finger, and just go... (laughs) I mean, there's no theoretical limit to it, if you think about it. (laughs) We're gonna go a thousand guns, just like... Each finger's tied to a string. Those strings are tied to, like, a hundred guns each. You just (laughs) pull it, and it's just... (laughs) No strings attached. (laughs) They just keep going and going, and I just I'm just picturing it in my mind, and it's just like, yes, you're picturing like, it in your mind because where else would you picture? For legal reasons, we're not saying this as like we're gonna screw up something. We're just talking about it because it's interesting. It's interesting to think about what would happen if we were to shoot up something. <laughs> After my new rule for the laugh track is, I'm only gonna put it in after you say something that could be taken out of context. Like, yeah, we're gonna shoot up something, and then I just play it. <laughs> yes. And I also don't want to do it every single episode. I'm just gonna do it on every episode where I remember it's a thing. Alright. So, Steven. Yes. What else do you want to talk about? That's a great question. (laughs) I'm all out of topics. They all took far less time to talk about than I thought. Um, we gotta just, yeah, I gotta just, um, think of, think of topics, think of good topics that are, that are good. <clears throat> okay. I got an idea. So, Steven, turn around real quick. I don't see anything. No. <laughs> oh. I mean, 
you didn't really like give a reason for it. I just thought it was part of the episode. <laughs> We are literally just- <laughs> this whole episode is literally just spamming the laugh track. <laughs> I don't even know what this is anymore. Yeah, here's the thing, I'm tired, I- I'm running off of very little sleep. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be another short episode, as I don't really have much else to talk about. I expected Will to have topics, and he failed me. I had five, and one of them went on for a long time, and the others didn't, so I'm sorry. So, yeah. Uh, uh, Thanks, interesting. Bro. Interesting fun fact that may or may not hurt Will's feelings. I'm probably going to Auburn. What? <laughs> I, I, okay. Even for overreactions, that was probably a little too much. I probably hurt the viewers' eardrums with that. I mean, I feel like we hurt the viewers' eardrums without even trying, just by being here. Yeah. That's another reason why I didn't want to record today. It's just, like, after this, I feel like going to sleep, but I got homework I gotta do. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget that if you subscribe now, we're gonna give you free iPhones. No, we're gonna give you free androids. No, we're gonna give you free taxes uh, for your new tax <laughs> evasion. <laughs> At this point, I don't even care to say it's a legal joke anymore. I mean, it's still a joke, but I'm just gonna keep saying it, because I think it's funny. Matter of fact, I mean... with the title, I'm not, I'm not gonna go... Over like overcomplicated with it either. I'm just gonna name the episode "Tax Fraud." Tax That's it. <laughs> and then the IRS is going to start giving us calls, and we're gonna have to explain ourselves. <laughs> I mean, we have explained ourselves like ten, ten times already. Like, it's not enough. Powered by Riverside FM. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Oh. I could I could use this the entire time, but for some reason I didn't. Because uh, uh, I'm not gonna say that. Oh, I just not realized I can upload audio files, so I can literally add my own audio. <laughs> <laughs> I just there, got. We're just gonna record the entire episode before the fact, and then come in here and just have the upload, have the episode that we recorded uploaded, and then just be sitting here not doing anything whilst the viewers hear us talking. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking other things. Say, yeah, guys, I lied. Um, I'm actually not gonna stop using this. I'm actually gonna use this a lot more now that I've figured out that I can add my own stuff. Because Driven's Night doesn't really give you that many options. It's just clapping, cheering, drum jokes, laughing, transitions, and then a bunch of ones where it's just like... Powered by Riverside FM. I, I just picked something. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Let's, let's stop that. Let's stop that. I, I the hope that the going to be messed up now. No, please. No. No, please. I don't want it to mess up. Hopefully it doesn't mess up. If it messes up, I'm gonna cry. Goodbye. <laughs>